Korea became a Christian country from 1% to 40% like almost overnight. Korea, they're not so easily want to confess their weakness that the nation just became very prosperous in a very developed manner. And my point to this sermon is the root cause of how this nation developed so quickly under the blessings of God and how Christianity exploded. What was the fundamental cause that created this momentum to expand or grow in the momentum of your faith walk? So the conditional for healing and restoration of yourself individually, your family, your descendants, whatever, your business, your health. In Korea, when the Koreans started getting saved, they started confessing their sin publicly. This is a huge thing for them because not only are they confessing their new allegiance for Christ in public they're saying that i i was a thief I'm a, I'm a liar or i'm i was the cheater i'm i scammed you or whatever they were confessing knowing that this can bring shame to them they didn't care about that you know why people don't confess you know why some of you are hiding your skeletons in the closet because you're not free but they decide i'm gonna transcend beyond my current cultural people and i'm gonna move into kingdom citizenship i'm free i'm no longer in prison of how, how you think of me now live for God I'm going to tell you what he has set me free from when they start doing that God's power started working in that nation when people were like you're confessing that's like an alien thing to them you were a thief you're trying to make reparation you're helping those people you stole from see that's like a weird thing to them a new thing they saw that and they wanted that freedom I want to be free I don't want to live like I'm somebody when I'm not that person and so when they were allowed to be themselves now Christian Christianity is flourishing and God is in the house. If you walk like a fake, God's not in the house. When you confess your sins, here in Psalms 32, 5, 6, then I finally admitted to you all my sins, refusing to hide them any longer. A lot of you, you already guilty. You know you're guilty. You just won't admit you're guilty. Why? Because you think if you admit you're guilty, then maybe to you, that's, that's a sign of weakness. That's just too embarrassing for you. You want him to restore this or fix this your way not his way and so you're in pain do you understand you have to understand why you're in pain you you can why are you getting mad at god you know god's like i'll, I'll take it but you have to give it under my terms and you humble yourself and you tell god whatever you need to say to him right and you're genuine the guilt of my sin washed away god wants your heart submission surrender all believers should confess their sins to god